Good morning, my sweeties, my three sweeties, Ellie, Vin, and Victoria. Papa Tom took Jake for a walk, so it's quiet, so I can read another story. This one looks really cute. It's called Don't Eat Bees, Life Lessons from Chip the Dog. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat a bee. I know some dogs do. Jake has never eaten one. Let's see what happens to Chip here. This is Chip. I am a smart dog. I am only seven, but that is practically 50 in person years. So I already know several important dog things. Like how cats are awfully self-important for animals who poop in a box. I don't think he likes cats very much. I know you can dig one big hole and put 30 bones in it. Or dig 30 holes and put one bone in each. Some dogs really like to dig holes. I'm glad Jake isn't one of those. Another thing I know, somehow these are all dogs. Yes, all of them. Even that one. It's a little, little dog. But most of my vast knowledge involves what to eat and what not to eat. I will share what I know. Do eat socks. That is why they come in pairs. There's a spare one just for you. I know a lot of dogs that eat socks. Jake doesn't eat socks. He likes to sneak them from Papa Tom's room. Because Papa Tom has a basket where he puts his clothes, his dirty clothes. And if Jake gets in there, he likes to sneak socks. Oh, here's another important thing. Don't eat bees. Do eat important papers. <laughs> oh, he's eating papers. Oh, like the ones the small persons work on when they finally come home after forever. Oh, it looks like he's eating some lessons, some schoolwork. Oh my goodness. Here's a pro tip. If you eat them, your small persons will have to stay home to make new important papers. And the small person doesn't look very happy about that. I know that Ellie and Vin like their lesson time. And you're both doing so good with your schoolwork. But don't eat bees. This is a bees outside, and he's looking out the window at him. Oh, he's making a mess. Looks like he's knocking the table over. Looks like they were having a nice Thanksgiving dinner. Do eat the giant bird they cook at Thanksgiving. Grab what you can and run. It's a fun game, and you deserve a little fun. Remember all those papers you ate? Bees? No. He took the whole turkey. 
I remember the turkey that your mom cooked. It was so good. And it's a good thing we didn't have Jake with us because maybe he would take the bird. Do eat Grandpa's teeth. It will make Grandpa smile. And that, my friend, will make everyone smile. But don't eat bees. Oh, my goodness. Grandpa must have left his teeth laying around. And Chip is playing with them. He does look funny. <laughs> Do eat the cat food just because you can. Who's a dumb dog now, Mittens? Not me. I don't eat bees. Do eat the foods your small person doesn't like to eat. <sighs> this will make them love you, and they will scratch that special itchy spot you can't reach. Yes, peas. No bees. The little person is putting food on the floor. Eat the car. <laughs> Eat plants. Eat dirt. It comes with the plants. Eat shoes. Eat the couch. Had it coming. Eat the mail. For sure, eat the sandwich. It was obviously for you since it had all your favorite stuff in it. <laughs> Don't eat lemons. Or fire. <laughs> He's making a funny face because he bit into a lemon. Or bees. See, I know a lot of things. I am so smart that I can tell you I would never, ever do something as silly as eating a bee. No, sir. Never, ever, ever. Again, <laughs> I think he ate a bee one time because his little face is swollen and it looks like it's sore and red. So I think he ate bees one time, but I think he learned his lesson. Don't eat bees. But cactuses... Mittens has been telling me about good thing telling me good things about cactus. I am a smart dog. <laughs> the cat is trying to get him to eat the cactus. Cactus are picky. Picky picky picky. He's trying to get Chip to eat it. but I don't think he will because he's a smart dog. <laughs>